So one of the common questions here at My Best Friend is how do I brush my dog or cat's teeth? Uh, so the most important part of this process is making it enjoyable, going slow, and getting them accustomed to brushing. Uh, cats are more difficult, so you often have to go even slower. Uh, but we're going to do a process of, uh, that might take weeks uh, or even months in cats to get them accustomed to and used to uh, having their teeth brushed. So uh, first of all, you'll want to get started with uh, a toothbrush and toothpaste that is specifically made for dogs and cats. This one here is, it has a long handle and it has specially soft bristles, uh, softer than what you'll get in, uh, for human toothbrushes, uh, and that helps protect their enamel. Uh, the toothpaste itself is usually gonna be flavored uh, with fish or poultry, uh, but another option besides the toothbrush itself is a, something like this, which is a, a finger brush. It has, it'll fit over your finger and have little rubberized uh, nubs that you can use to uh, brush their teeth rather than the bristles of the toothbrush. Okay. So with um, Jack here, we're going to demonstrate with the toothpaste. Usually I start out the training with just offering a little bit and seeing if they'll lick it off your finger or take it as a treat. Uh, usually do that for a period of uh, time, usually days, and get them used to just uh, the idea of the toothpaste itself uh, as a treat. The next step is putting a little bit of toothpaste on the toothbrush and letting them get comfortable licking it off of the toothbrush and having the toothbrush near them so they're not afraid of it. Once we get to the point that they're comfortable with that, the next step is actually trying to brush their teeth. Uh, or actually, before you get to that point, we're just going to kind of touch it to their teeth and make sure they're comfortable. Then they can lick it off. Once they're comfortable with the idea of the toothbrush touching their mouth and their teeth, then we actually try to start brushing. Again, we want them to go slow and make sure that they're comfortable and they see this as a treat or as an enjoyable process, not pushing them to the point where we're forcing it on them or it just becomes a chore and it becomes more difficult and at that point it can become impossible to do. So when we actually brush their teeth, we'll lift their lip and then brush over their teeth. It's only important that we get the outside of their teeth here. We don't need to worry about getting the inside closest to the tongue. So you can pull their lip back and brush right along the gum line of all those teeth. And he's going to lick at this. We'll put a little bit more toothpaste on there so he can enjoy that. We'll come around to the other side. We'll do the same thing. It's most important to get the large teeth on the top and the back back here. That's where most of the calculus or plaque buildup will happen. So try to get those teeth back there as much as possible. Good boy, Jack. 